This is video number one for Access Module 3 in the Shelley Cashman book on Microsoft Office 365. If you haven't already started Access, go ahead and start it up and then open up the CMF Vets database, the one we've been working on in the previous module. If the navigation pane over here is closed, there should be an arrow here to open it up. Make sure your navigation pane is open. If necessary, click the Veterinary Vendors table to select it. Then let's go to our Create tab up here. We're going to create a form, so we want to go to More Forms over here, and we want the one called a Split Form. Close the navigation pane. Now let's flip over to the top of page 3-4. Right now, if you go down here to the status bar, we're in what's called Layout View, and there's another option here called Form View. We want to be in Form View. So this is basically a live form. We're not going to do any editing of the form, but if we want to, we can edit the veterinary vendors table. So this gives us two views of the veterinary vendors table. I'm not sure how useful this is, but it gives us a form up here that has one record from the vendors table. And down here, it shows us the table in a grid format. So there's basically one record per row. Uh, there's only five records in this table. So we're looking at the entire table right here. Up here, we're looking at one fifth of the table. We're looking at that top record, that first record. We can navigate through here by clicking on the navigation buttons down here. We can go forwards and backwards. We can go all the way to the end if we want to. You can edit the records either by going to the form part on top or to the grid part on the bottom. So after experimenting with this form here, go ahead and save it. Let's go to our save button up here. By default, it wants the name veterinary vendors. We're going to add on split form to that. Click on OK. And now we're at the top of page 3-5. We're going to use this form to add some records. So down here at the bottom, there is a new record button. It's an arrow with a little yellow or gold star on the end of it. Go ahead and click on that. It will add space for a new record. We'll get a form view of it up here. We'll get a table view of it down here. And we can either type in stuff on the top or we can type stuff in on the bottom. It doesn't really make any difference. We're not allowed to type anything in the ID field here because that's an auto number field. An auto number field is one that will be automatically created for you by Access. Our last ID was five, so this one will be number six. Access will put the six in for you, so don't try to type anything in there. But we can go down to the vendor name field and we can type in the vendor name, Global Pet Supply. Tab down to the next box. Notice that when we type it up here, it also appears down here as soon as we leave the box. Street address is going to be 1001 Western. And when I tab out of there, that also pops up down here. We can also add data in the grid at the bottom. So click on the city field for record number six at the bottom and enter the name Dallas. Hit the tab key to go to the state field. TX is the state. The zip is 7001. The supply is feline leukemia vaccine. Quantity is 50. Enter $9.75 for the cost and press the tab key to leave that record. And we hit tab at the end of the last column. That finishes off the record and it takes you down to the next row. So if you wanted to, you could enter another record. Close the form. Click on the X up here to close it. And now we're at the bottom of page 3-5. We're going to search for a record. Open the navigation pane. Go down to the veterinary vendor's split form. You can either double click on it. Or you can, as the book suggests, you can right click on it and click open. We want to go to the veterinary supply field. Close the navigation pane over here. Now we want to click on the find button. It's on the home tab. Find. Go ahead and click on the magnifying glass. Type in microchips is what we want to find. Then click on the find next button. Let's pull this out of the way. And it found the record vendor number three has microchips down here. It's the same thing, and microchips is highlighted down here as well. So you can use the find feature of Access to look through a large database. Here it's such a small database, you really wouldn't have to use it. But in a larger database, that's a real handy feature. Go ahead and close that. Now we're on page 3-7. We're going to update the contents of a record. Click to the right of the word N in Corporation, and we're going to edit this field. We're going to change the vendor name from Corporation to LLC. So just use a backspace key to back up over Corporation. Type in LLC. 
when you finish editing your field, make sure that you move out of the field, either hit the tab key or click in another box, and that will make sure that the changes you've made are saved. Now let's go to the bottom of page 3-7. We're going to delete a record. The instructions for that are on the top of page 3-8. With a veterinary vendor's split form open, click the record selector in the data sheet for ID number 5. So the data sheet is down here. Click on number 5, so get over in the left border there on that gray box to the left of the record. Press the delete key. The record is about to be deleted. It's not officially deleted until we click on yes. Click on yes, and the record is now gone from the database. Now let's go to the top of page 3-9. We're going to filter by selection. So we want to reopen the navigation pane over here. Open the veterinary vendors table. Double click on it. Close the navigation pane. Go to the second record and click on the city. So the second record is right here. The city is Blanding. So with the cursor in the city field for record number two, make sure you're on your home tab. In the sort and filter group, click on selection, click on the down arrow. And because we're in the cell for blanding, we get some options up here that are related to blanding. We're going to choose equals blanding. It will search for us and it will find all of the records that have blanding in the city field. Now let's flip over to the top of page 3-10. We're going to toggle a filter. We've just applied a filter. A filter shows you some of the records, but not all of them. It shows you the records that match the criteria that you've selected. This is just like Excel. There's a little funnel button up there that indicates that a filter is turned on. And there's a toggle filter button if we want to turn the filter off. And we're back to looking at the entire table. Now at the bottom of page 3-10, we're going to clear a filter. In the Home tab, go to the Sort and Filter group. Click on the down arrow for the Advanced button. Choose Clear All Filters, and our filter is now gone. And the Toggle Filter button is now grayed out. Now let's go to the top of page 3-11. We're going to use a common filter. So we want to go to the top of the City column here and click on the down arrow next to the word City. This looks an awful lot like it did in Excel. Point to the Text Filters command. Click on it. Choose Begins With. And in the City Begins With box, type the letter B, click on OK, and it will come back and give us everything in the City column that begins with the letter B. Now let's flip over to page 3-12. Number 4 says click the Toggle Filter button to toggle the filter and redisplay all the records. There's our Toggle Filter button. Click on it, and now we're back to looking at all of our records again. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Filter by Form feature of Access. Number one says click the Advanced button. So we want to go to the Home tab, Sort and Filter group, and click on the Advanced button down here. Clear all filters. Click on it again and choose Filter by Form. Go to the State field and type CO for Colorado. Go to the Quantity field and type Greater than 75. Click the Toggle Filter button up here. It will turn on the filter and we get everything from Colorado that has a quantity of greater than 75. So we get one record, record number three. This should match what you see at the top of page 3-13. So this is basically an AND condition. Both of these conditions must be true. The state must be Colorado and the quantity must be greater than 75. If we put more values in here, we're going to further restrict the filter and everything has to be true in order for the record to be selected. So the more things you put in here, the more things have to be true, and the more you're going to restrict your selection. Sometimes you need to do a more sophisticated filter, and that's where the Advanced Filter and Sort on page 3-13 comes in. Let's click the Advanced button here, and we're going to clear the existing filters. So if you have already cleared them, click on the Advanced button again, Choose Advanced Filter and Sort. We've already got the criteria Colorado and greater than 75. Both of those must be true. Now we're going to add some other criteria to that. Let's make our list a little taller here so we can see all the fields. We're going to add the vendor name, so double click on vendor name. Go to Sort here, choose Ascending, so it'll be in alphabetical order by vendor name. 
we're going to leave the existing criteria, Colorado and greater than 75. But we're going to add another rule, and this rule is going to be less than 40 for quantity. So type less than 40 in the quantity field. And now we have two rules. The first rule is select the record if the state is Colorado and the quantity is greater than 75. If the state is Colorado but the quantity is not greater than 75, do not select the record. If the quantity is greater than 75 but the state is not Colorado, do not select the record. Both of these must be true. Anytime you put two criteria on the same row, they both must be true in order for the filter to be applied to select that record. If that doesn't work, then we'll go to the second one. The second one says check to see if the quantity is less than 40. So it doesn't matter what the state is. It doesn't matter what any of the other fields are. We're going to get any record where the quantity is less than 40. The criteria on the first row is interpreted as if the word and were connecting the criteria. So Colorado for the state and quantity greater than 75. And anything on a subsequent row is interpreted as if the word or was between the rows. Let's go to the top of page 3-14. Let's click our toggle filter button. It will apply the filter. We get one record from Colorado with a quantity greater than 75. And apparently the only record with a quantity less than 40 is record number four, Rodriguez Vet Supplies. So those should be the two results we get. This should match what you see at the top of page 3-14. We wanna close the veterinary vendors table. Let's go ahead and close that. We won't save the changes. We'll close our form, reopen the navigation pane, and that takes us to the end of the section on filtering. We will pick up with the next video on page 3-15, changing the database structure.